wide open crawl. <laughs> It's been a long time since I posted my last video for the, uh, the turbo scavenge pump, but I've been having some issues with the car, um, mainly related to obviously the turbo smoke still happening, and I had some vacuum leaks that I was trying to chase down. I did install a new oil feed fitting. It's now a one and a half millimeter restrictor. It's more of a band-aid in my opinion, but I mean, it is what it is. I gotta do what I gotta do. I also installed some injector spaces because I had a vacuum leak there. I installed an M50 billet ICV fitting um, that you could get from like Rally Road or uh, I think Seems Legit like Garage also sells one because the old one was like all kind of messed up and it wasn't really sealing correctly. I also redid my fuel rail bracket um, for my M50 manifold swap. So that's aligning the injectors correctly now. And on top of that, I did hardwire my AFR gauge to one of the existing uh, plugs for my O2 sensors. Since this car used four O2 sensors, I'm now only using uh, one pre-cat, so that way the MS43 can take voltage readings from my AFR gauge, and I can log it. So now that the car is mechanically sound, let's get started on this tune. Thing that I want to address is first and foremost I am not a tuner actually if I'm honest programming and electronics is probably my worst skill set if you want to call it a skill set so why the hell am I doing it well I mean sometimes you got to dive right into the deep end to learn how to swim right so this is what I'm doing I'd rather just learn how to do it myself than to pay someone to do it so I'm going to risk my entire turbo build for the sake of learning now originally I was going to do a how-to video on how to tune but let's be real. If I'm trying to teach myself how to tune, how am I gonna teach you guys how to tune? That being said, if you guys do wanna see an in-depth video, maybe when I actually like uh, figure out how to tune this thing, hit me up in the comment section down below and then uh, I'll consider it. I've been just trying to go ham this entire week, trying to get this thing tuned so that I can finally like drive this thing and rip it and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and let's do some data logging so that I can make some changes. I already started on the idle. So, I mean, it's it's rich right now at 12 and a half uh, AFRs, but um, we're gonna leave that for now. I can always, I'd rather take out, I'd rather be on the rich side than on the lean side. And then I can always take fuel out later and kind of work my way up to it. A couple things to consider. I did turn off uh, like desal fuel cut. Hopefully I can get some better uh, some better tables. I decreased timing all across the board by five degrees so that hopefully I don't have any knock if I do get some lean spots and a bunch of other stuff that I'd probably uh, go over when I actually do a how-to video. So let's get started. I'm gonna upload my latest map. All right, ready to rock and roll. So I'm just gonna go for a drive around the block. Nothing too fancy. <laughs> the biggest thing that I want to do is I just want to keep my my throttle input as smooth as possible so no abrupt changes um, anything like that so hopefully I can fill up my history table as best as I can let's get started there is a mark 5 super in front of me and I do not want to hit that Why that happened? I guess I'll just 
remove that from the history tables. So I am being on the conservative side. Um, I'm still like very, very rich on a part load. This is never gonna get old, or at least I hope. Whew. So I made a neat little table that takes data from uh, from Tuner Pro, and I can make adjustments from here. So like, uh, um, without getting really nerdy, the yellow just means it's rich, and the red means it's lean. Um, all this stuff right here, I'm not too concerned about yet, because most of that is um, under D cell, which obviously it cuts fuel at D cell. So I really got to figure out what's going on here. I still haven't figured out what to do with these, but I'm really focused on the meat and the potatoes, like which is like these areas. Um, and I do have to keep in mind that um, some of this data can be false, so I have to go back through the logs and uh, see what's really good data and bad data, and then make a decision from there. So how about we get on the freeway, get into some higher RPMs, some higher loads, <laughs> some higher loads. I don't know why it like it dies for some reason um, on D cell going to idle. It it didn't do that. Uh, on my first drive at all and it just happened to me twice so I don't know I gotta fix that pretty sure it's like it's rubbing against the chassis or something like that so I gotta fix that but that doesn't have to do with boost so I don't really care at the moment you know what I feel like doing a little bit of wide open throttle how about some wide open throttle
ridiculous. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Are you guys excited? Like this, oh my God, I'm speechless. And the car is like not even tuned yet. be some like a very lengthy process so um, I think what I'm gonna do I'm gonna keep going at it and I'll fill you guys in whenever anything crazy happens I guess um, I don't know we'll see what happens but you really don't want to see a bunch of clips of just me ripping around right who would really want to see that I sure as hell would it anyways let me get to it and I'll keep you guys posted a lean spot how about we do some donuts or figure eights Mm-hmm. 